Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. In today's SQL Payroll System tutorial, I'll talk about process payroll or new payroll. Let's go to SQL. Well, to process payroll is very, very easy. Yeah. What you need to do is just go to new payroll. Then there's three ways to process, final, frequency, and ad hoc. For final, what you need to do is just click final, then process. This is where you need to do the final payroll. Example, process, then everything is done. So you can check the payslip. This is the preview icon. Then you can select different uh, format. So I like this format. So I, you just preview. Okay. As long as all the information is correct, then you can just directly print out. Just in case, okay, the information may not correct and you want to do some amendment. So no problem, even after process, what you can do is directly go in and key in accordingly. Example, the wages example. So it's 1000. So you can see when I key in, everything will calculate automatically for me. So you just save it. Okay. This is very, very useful is when you have um, purchased the software, maybe now in November, but you need to process from January onwards. So the result in the um, payroll software may be a bit different from the actual you pay out. So you need to make sure the system is following what you have paid out earlier. That's why you need to come in and adjust accordingly. Okay, so this is final okay so if you want to go back to the previous uh, payroll that you have processed and you want to do amendment just go to past payroll so you can see that you can go in back to that particular month and do the adjustment accordingly and once processed all these government reports or documents already updated you do not need to calculate yourself we already update for you and you can um, submit accordingly. Borang A, Borang A, A. Okay, all calculated automatically. EIS, CP39, if there is any. Okay, so this is process final. Let's say after process final, then you suddenly you realize that hey, one of that employee got mistake instead of going in to do the adjustment what you can do is you can right click push the employee so you see Ali is disappeared do the amendment accordingly then come back here and process missing employee you can see Ali then just click OK then it will reprocess after you amend the information or what you can do is if you are not satisfied, you can just right click of the payroll for that one, delete. Okay, okay. So then when you process new payroll, it process back the same one. Okay, this is process final. Frequency is when you have um, half month payroll or weekly payroll. So before you do the final, then you need to process the frequency first. This one I already explained in a previous tutorial. You can just watch back. So this is where you select the frequency and process. Then there's something called ad hoc. So this ad hoc is for you to process certain transactions before final. Example, you want to pay bonus first before the, your final payroll. You want to pay allowance first, which is separate from your final payroll. That means pay bonus, then only you pay your salary or pay allowance, then only your salary is on ad hoc basis. So for this one, I'll leave it in the future tutorial when I talk about ad hoc payroll and I'll use bonus as an example. So this is how you process payroll in SQL payroll system. If you're interested to SQL payroll or SQL accounting, feel free to contact me or you want to switch your maintenance to me. No problems. You're welcome to contact me also. Now, once again, thank you for watching. I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies.